Hey YouTube, Adam here. We're back with more Europa Univer Universalis 4. It's very hard for me to say that. Uh, we still have a good five years in this truce up here. Getting uh, our last claims against the uh, remnant of the Golden Horde. We'll see what happens. I'm going to keep fabricating um, just in case they end up... I don't know if they'll end up winning anything out of this. They have five war score. See what happens with that. Uh, what did I want to do here? We are integrating. We are building a s network. What do we already have a claim? Oh, I'm at 17%. I had the two logos mixed up there. So let's go to speed four for a minute. I'm not going to worry too much. I want to get this fabricating done, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Because I want to fabricate on uh, Tavir, Tavir, whatever. Claim fabricated Sweden. Why would you do this, Sweden? I really wish they had succeeded. I would go just friggin' wreck their world in a minute, but not in the cards at the moment so we can get up to what we want there i think that brings me to my force no not quite but close enough to my force limit advanced time here a little bit once we get one claim done here on crimea we're going to recall the diplomat was that my good general no the good general lives on the longer he lives, the happier I am. Okay, let's go ahead and just fabricate on Vorinsith there. Whatever. Recall you. And we're two over our limit right now. But we have one that's going to be falling off here in a bit. Hmm. How long is it going to be? 62 years. So, by the time we get this war done, we might have been able to vassalize him already. I'd kind of rather vassalize him. Well, I don't know. Our, our, uh, our diplomatic points are kind of more precious right now than our uh, administrative points because we have like a ridiculous number of admin points coming in and not so many diplo points. So, I don't know. Why are you not... Trying to... Oh, it has a capital fort. That's their capital? What? They moved their capital there? Silly people. Raja entered the military alliance as well. So all these guys are... Allying up over here. It'd be kind of sweet if they could get an alliance with Lithuania. Because that would keep Poland out of there, I'm pretty sure, then. Which would be nice. Because then we can just kind of... What I would prefer to do is just take this stuff up north. And just kind of like march down. Not really mess with Germany. Stay out of Germany. Figure out how to maybe get into Hungary. And just like take all this crap. That would be nice. Especially this because this is a same cultural group. All the Poland and Lithuanian lands and stuff. So that would be nice. So just so we're keeping track of things, when is our thing up with you? Uh, we are up. Oh, good. We're, wait, what? Ryzen, Krisica. Okay. So we're up in 67 with them. All right. So that's a good, good gap between the two there. And we'll be completing our mission with... Uh, when we wipe out Novgorod next war, which will be pretty sweet. We fabricate on you again. I don't think I can fabricate all the way over there, so call that good with the fabricating on you for now, because I don't know, you don't look like you, you got a lot going on there in terms of that war. And I guess we'll just put you back to work down here. Who wants what? Military access. Mm. It would be kind of nice to have the war end, but at the same time, 
I want that land, and they'll probably just end up stomping. Yeah, they would just stomp them, so no. No access for you. Decline. Offer considered and declined. Now, is there anybody interesting here? Missionary strength, plus two. What are we looking at for conversion chances here? Yeah, that won't do any good at all. We need some ideas before we get to the point that that's helpful. And we are making four per month, so we could do the tax modifier, which... Well, maybe worth it, probably not, but it'd be good to get some more points going and all that stuff, because I don't really have anything to spend the money on right now anyway. Mmm, give me a head. Oh, we got an idea group. That is good. So what do we want to do for our first idea group here? I generally like the quality, maybe offensive, leader shock would be good. Something that, at this point, probably something that uses, uh... Well, we could start colonizing Siberia. The earlier we get started with colonizing Siberia, the better. Although, can my econ my economy's not going to really handle. Well, we'll f we'll make it work. We'll make it work because that's important. Getting Siberia colonized will help. In the long run, it's a worthwhile investment, and. We're almost up to the next level of that. Do we want to spend the points? Because we're going to have our border with some uncolonized territory here in just a minute. We'll hold off on actually spending the points because there's no point right now. Wait until the annexation is done. Yeah, you can have privileges right now. At this point in the game, I would rather have... All the revolt risk and conversion ability that is possible. So let's fast forward a little further here. We're halfway done. I don't know if we're going to be done with this before I want to start the war with Novgorod. Maybe almost at the same time. Which might be convenient because if I'm going to have maintenance up, it'd be useful if it was for two wars. Like, declare this first and then just, like, sweep up there. They're actually just as powerful, basically, right now, due to the crappiness of uh, what we did to them in the last war. They only got. They've not recovered well. And while I'm thinking of it, let's actually take a look at this. So we have... What does it say here? Alright, so we're getting manpower from them, trade efficiency. Alright, cool. So they give us abilities. What do we get? Hmm... can I ask from them? Call this... Five loyalty... I don't really need that. Grant generalship... 40... A general... That's not bad. So what happens with... This? What are the negatives of this? Does it explain? The state's influence the power of the wield in the country most a high level of influence will both increase both the benefits and provide loyalty. Penalties suffer from a disloyal one. See influence okay, so more than eighty percent is bad, but this will only give them twenty. I could use another general. Fine with that. And there we go. Got two decent generals. Because Lord knows we're going to be using them in a minute here. Oh, good. The timing on this looks like it will work out just perfectly. So let's get our 
maintenance up. We're going to be running a deficit for a little bit here, but we got money. It's all right. Can't take it with you, after all. Let's fabricate on them. Okay, cool beans. We call our diplomat. And how long are you going to be till you're at full maintenance? get back up to this just for a month here until we get the time so we should be able to just wreck these guys pretty much it should just take a second and then we can get our maintenance down so it's not going to cost too much money to do this what level fort do they have do they have a they just have a capital fort we got this you should have joined us willingly but what are you going to do confirm I love that the vassals all just converge. Then he backed off. I'll let the vassals handle the seal the sieging. I don't need to be a part of that. They, like I said, they can take the attrition. That's fine with me. We'll just defeat the army for them, and then they can handle actually capturing this. Then so I can just go sit over here and reduce our maintenance now. There is no need for those forts to be on. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Shouldn't do that. That's what I thought. Okay. And I think we want to, what's it going to do? Reduce maintenance. Now we just sit back and wait. Although nobody is siege, okay, I was going to say, like, you guys usually are all siege happy. What's going on? And they're just converging from everywhere. So we are going to have, like I said, It'll be one over the relationship thing when Perm is annexed. There's not really anybody else that I want. Well, I think we might just vassalize these guys. Why not? They'll help us fight Lithuania. That's kind of more useful right now than it would be if uh, we just had one more province. Probably annex these guys when we get to it. Like, actually invade them let's just fast forward get this over with and perms integration should be done can it finish during a war i'm waiting for it to take over here yep apparently it can all right where is your army that you were giving me so nicely all right, so we're like way over. We need to get rid of five of these units, and they're all no. There's a cavalry in there. Ten to ten, ten to ten. What do we want to keep out of it? Nothing really. I kind of wish I had somebody to combine this into. Is there? There's no way to get the manpower back. It's very unfortunate. So we'll just dis dismiss them. We don't need their shenanigans. And we can start colonizing if we want to soon. We. Anytime we want to buy that idea, I get, well, yeah, I have the Diplo points still to do it. I probably should, but I'm going to wait until after the war with uh, Novgorod is over because I want to be able to park an army over there to protect the uh, territory that we take. And you are still doing that. Should probably, I don't know if I'm going to get the decision, I mean, the, uh, the mission to go after these guys, but I want to go after them while they're still weak, so we'll start fabricating on them. Just in case we don't get the decision to take Kazan out, because it's nice to get all those cores and the claims and whatnot. I think we get them when we become Russia anyway. All right, so they pieced out. Seemingly, no, they didn't. Uh, they, how did you get military access? Did I just not pay attention? Who gave you access? I don't want you to have access. Jerks. 
They must have given him access, I guess. Whatever. They can't get over there still, I guess. Great advisor has died. Land force. Don't really want the land force modifier. Hmm. This guy's younger. We'll take him. I I want the military points. I don't really care about the land force modifier right now, and I can't afford to hire the other guy. How much did that even modify it to? I don't know. We might have already had a land force modifier guy there, so maybe it was good that we took it. Um, 100 tradition. Have like an extra really good general. Why don't I don't need this right now? I kind of want to buy it. A hundred tradition. That sounds pretty good. It's probably like a two star. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. I'm greedy. I don't care if I have an extra general. Oh, look at that. Look at my generals. I never have good generals. I need an army for him though. <laughs> That's the problem. People are going to get wrecked. I should probably just put him here and dismiss the other general, even though he's pretty good. How many military points are we getting? Five from a... Yeah, we'll dismiss you. I have no place for as many generals as I have. This is like the first time that's ever happened that I've, like, too many good generals, but... I can't go wrong with two two-star generals. I would... Rather have the generals the AI always gets, but I am a mere human and only get crappy generals. I'm going to keep fabricating on them because when we take that, we'll be able to claim that province probably too. This Golden Horde uh, War is really funny that's going on down there. Alright, so we're a year out from our war up there in the north. I'm going to preemptively just march everybody. You march the long way around. Oh, it's too late. I was going to say, you march the long way around to save the attrition, but... Oh, well. It's just a little bit of attrition. What are you going to do? Now, as far as these guys go, the clergy... So what do I get... Out of giving them... Can I not give them control of this province? Isn't there a way to do that? Because it says what land they have. It must be Christian before we're going to add it to the Empire. I don't care. Not poor... I don't care. I'm not trying to make a client state. Clergy. Recruit minister. Recruit... Make generous donation. How do I give you more territory since you do not have much... Hmm. I will have to look into the little tool tips on that. Oh, you guys are done. I didn't even notice. They've been at an un a ridiculous war for no reason. And what the hell? We'll vassalize them. Yeah, we'll vassalize them. And how much money did they have? My God. I'm sure you're a pretty damn unhappy vassal, but tough crackers, my friend. We'll improve relations with them. Try to try to smooth things over. It's not my fault. You could have joined peacefully if you hadn't have been such a jerk about me having one of your. Uh... What just happened? Oh, they annexed that. It doesn't matter. I'll just take it from. Doesn't matter who I'm taking it from. Makes our Golden Horde War a little bit funny. It's going to be a one-province war. Oh, well. I, I do want to pick that off. I wonder if they'll get to a chance to do it first, though. They might. They have a claim on it, don't they? They do. Well, we'll have to invade them to take out... To vassalize them if they're going to be like that. I think early in the game, like, it's worth going over the, the relationship limit. 
I don't want to go to war with them. That's fine. Of course. No, it doesn't mess up my plan. It does not mess up my plan at all. I just need to... And we'll continue. Why not? Got a little bit of time left to go here. And in fact, I am going to end this episode here and we'll just deal with this war with uh, Novgorod in the next episode. So, thanks for watching.